welcome back to my channel. The other time when I did my top 10 favorite nude brown lipsticks, uh, there were a lot of requests for me to do my red to berry lipsticks for Indian skin tone. I have done a video that is similar to that much long ago. I shall link that in the description box or it'll be in the link right here and you can click that. I thought I would make my top 10 red lipsticks and I thought I would talk you through in detail on why this made the list. Now these are red lipsticks that would suit every skin tone, especially if you're mine or you're a deeper skin tone because it's got a little pink base to it, a brown base to it, and a few have got a, you know, a blue tone red to it. So it's something that will make you much more brighter, will make your teeth more whiter. And I feel that if you really want to experiment on your reds, uh, this is something that will just break your perceptions about red lipsticks and will have you experimenting a little more. Also, these lipsticks that I'm showing you, they are easily available in India as well. If you stick till the end of the video, I will, sh I will tell you exactly where to get, it, uh, get these international brands in India. But there are also a few brands that I have introduced in the list that is easily available in India as well. But if you're in the Middle East, you're in the US and the UK, you will get this online easily. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and get notified every time I upload. And if you are an existing friend of mine here on YouTube, then thank you for sticking around and thank you so much for your support. Another thing that I want to do, uh, start off with, with a slight disclaimer, that there are about three, four products that are not cruelty free. When I swatch it, I will tell you guys which one of those are. But these are lipsticks that I already had in my collection much before I started the cruelty free journey. And not everybody that watches my video uh, videos are into cruelty free cosmetics, which I wish you guys can start that journey as well. Thought I would swatch this and show you guys why these are the perfect reds to have in your collection. So without wasting much time, let's get right into the swatch. The first lipstick that I'm going to be applying is um, <clears throat> Oh God. Can you just stop crunching on that carrot? I'm just going to start off with a bullet lipstick, so I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to start off with L'Oreal Lincoln Rose. This is something that was sent to me by a friend of mine. Um, I don't uh, buy L'Oreal products because they are not cruelty free, but I know this is easily available in India, that is why I'm showing this to you. But not to say that this isn't a very pretty color, so I'm going to swatch this. So this is Lincoln Rose by L'Oreal. It's a very pretty uh, red lipstick with a pink undertone to it. It was one of the fastest selling um, you know, red lipsticks from their entire collection. I really hope that they haven't discontinued this because as far as I know they haven't. But if you are uh, into L'Oreal and you want to pick up a nice red lipstick which is not too harsh for your skin tone, then I think this is a great start. It is matte for sure, but it's got, it's a very comfortable moisturizing matte. Second one I'm going to swatch is this lipstick I got from uh, India. Uh, this is Colorbar and I think this is Rustic. When I swatched this, I was so in love with this color because it's that perfect pumpkin terracotta red. I think that this would look very different on various skin tone if you're a little bit more of a deeper skin tone than me. This can be a little more terracotta, but I, I don't know, I'm going to swatch this. I'm not very sure of the formula because I think their formula can definitely improve. But this definitely stays for a very long time, but it is quite drying. But nevertheless, a very beautiful color. Okay, the next one is Sephora 03. This is Strawberry Kissed and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's got this very strawberry red color, so it's not your deep blue red tone. So it is that fantastic, you know, uh, strawberry 
uh, red, you know, the one that is so similar to the first swatch I did of the L'Oreal one. It's a red lipstick with a pink undertone, so uh, if you're afraid to experiment with red lipsticks, then this is a great alternative. I really love the Sephora cream lip stain. It is amazing. It's value for money. It stays... You know, I don't understand. They are so underrated. I don't understand why they're not hyped much because they really are creamy and moisturizing and they last all day, which is pretty much... I mean, they... I would say they are cheaper than the rest of the liquid lipsticks but and they do a really good job and this is a beautiful color. In fact when I was in Wales I applied only this and so many of you had asked me on Snapchat what the lipstick was and I kept on saying it was 03 from Sephora but it looks it is so beautiful and it I think if you are deeper skin tone you're fairer you're my medium skin tone olive tan whatever you are this is one color that will really, really suit you and so, so comfortable to wear. Okay guys, my lips is burning but I'm going to do the next swatch and this is by Bourjois. This is 05, uh, the Rouge Velvet and I think, yeah, this is Ole Flamingo and it's that beautiful deep pink red undertone to it and it's lovely I'm going to swatch and at the same time let me tell you that this is also another lipstick that is really really comfortable to wear so check this out the only thing I don't like about this lipstick is that it's not very long lasting but you know if you want to wear something that's moisturizing but don't like the bullet lipstick nor do you like the liquid lipstick that is too matte then this is your best friend all right so this is Rimmel this is by Kate Moss and this is their best selling shade it is 107 um, it is creamy it's got that very it's not like ox blood red but it's got a nice deep toned red and it is something that is not too bright on your face if you don't want to experiment on bright red lipsticks this is just the perfect one um, it's very moisturizing at the same time and it's a very beautiful color this one is always sold out it's so difficult to find because like I said this is their fastest selling product and now Rimmel is available in India as well so something for you to check into. The next one I'm going to be swatching for you is 440 by Revlon. This is Cherries in the Snow. So beautiful. Let me just show you guys, but not cruelty free. So this is Rich Blood from Jeffree Stars. It's beautiful. I love Jeffree Stars liquid lipsticks. They are very comfortable to wear. Uh, they just don't dry up your lips much. It just, it's just a very comfortable liquid matte to wear. I would say like my top favorite is, which I mentioned again before, uh, is Anastasia uh, liquid lipsticks. And the ones I have is Catherine and Ashton, which the new formula is top notch. With Jeffree Stars, I only have Gemini and I have Rich Blood and I am in love with it. And now I would say after that would be Huda Beauty, excepting for, I don't know if you've seen the review of the Huda Beauty one. It has a very sticky feel in the middle, but it's also another liquid lipstick that is really comfortable to wear. So um, this red has got not too much of a shimmer on it. It's just got that subtle, uh, you know, glitter pigments into this and if you want to wear this kind of a red for a function, let's just say for a wedding or, you know, you want to do a very glamorous bridal makeup or you're going for, uh, you know, a, a night out where you just want to make everything else subtle on your makeup, your eye makeup, but you just, but you just want to go bold on your lips and you just want that, you know, added glamour, then Rich Blood is it. I absolutely love Rich Blood.
so this is Laura Mercier's Mon Cherie. I won't say that it's a blue tone red, it's got a slight hint of pink undertone to it. So um, it is not, it is quite bright as a lipstick, but it's a very comfortable bright red lipstick to wear. You know what I mean? It's not something that everyone's just going to stare at you when you wear this and it's not going to be like almost like you know coming across too stark or too um, on your face. I love this type of a bright red lipstick because um, I don't know you know if you are experimenting with bright colors then this is something that you can start off with. A uh, red never lets you down you know so even if it is like a blue tone red, a deeper red, oxblood red, a red with a pink undertone, berry undertone, whatever it is it is eventually going to suit you so everything it's all in your head you know the perception of it not looking good on you is all in your head uh, I grew up not liking red lipsticks thinking it's not going to suit me um, you know I just didn't like I thought that it was a, a, a shape that brings a lot of attention to you but hey as you grow up you that's the kind of attention you want good attention basically and this kind of a bright red lipstick will definitely get you turning heads for sure. This beautiful blue tone red is Lime Crime Red Velvet, my all time favorite red lipstick. They've got three red shades which I totally, totally adore. That is uh, Wicked, Red Velvet and Pumpkin. They always nail bright colors really well. When it comes to really bright colors, the formulation, uh, the way that it wears on your lips, the longevity, um, you know, the brightness of it that would suit each and every skin tone, Lime Cram always nails it. And it was one of my top favorite, but I felt that there were other lipstick that gave a lot of quantity for the price that you were paying and Lime Crime was a little less in its quantity and that's why it had gone down below on number four spot but other than that this lipstick guys can you see how white my teeth is and on top of that what a beautiful beautiful color this I think was the original gangster when it came to liquid matte lipsticks in red lime crime nailed it beautifully this pumpkin by lime crime i haven't shown wicked right now because wicked is going to be part of the autumn uh, collection of berries and deep oxblood lipsticks to wear but right now look how beautiful pumpkin is they've got the name right it's like pumpkin it's almost like you know a mix of red and squash uh, you know um, color mixed together it's just it's so perfect for an Indian skin tone that had to be my last favorite uh, you know to make it to the top 10 list so I really hope you enjoyed watching this if you are in India and you're looking out for liquid lipsticks to buy then you should follow beautytales.in um, I should leave uh, it in the description box please check it out they have an Instagram page also where all beautiful international products are available and and their service is also really good but then again there are so many other liquid lipsticks like color bar that can match up to uh, you know the ongoing trend of deep reds but in india if you're looking out for an international brand then sephora has everything and plus you have you know uh, startup companies like beautytales.in that will help you out if you are in the UK and in the US obviously Lime Crime ships uh, worldwide including in the Middle East so all the colors that I've shown you are easily available online so it is not something that you know you'll only get in the US like how it is with um, Colourpop though Colourpop is now shipping international but I'm just trying to tell you like how easily available all these lipsticks that I've shown you is online and in store don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you know get notified every time I upload say hi to me on my snapchat and on my Instagram page and as well as on Facebook uh, I'm also very active on Twitter so you can say hi to me there as well. I shall see you in my next video uh, Until then stay positive guys. I love you so much. Mwah. Bye for now